How can you design here in Asia uh, a more modern park which is more environmental friendly, more sustainable, which gives space for different generations, places where people can enjoy in the morning doing Tai Chi, having gardens where they, they can do their own gardening, kids to play, people to experience the environment. The strategic plan for the park is really to bring the blue and the green together. And on top of that, get the life, the people, you know, to make it a vibrant place where the park can be used as open, as multifunctional as possible, but also to do something for the water, to slow down the water, to keep it clean, to actually be more environmental orientated with the water. And on top of that, to bring the wildlife back into the city. We also designed everything in this park. We designed the bridges, we designed the seatings, we designed the light uh, pillars, we designed the shade structures, we made decks where you can actually look over, we made stepping stones to cross through the water. And all what you can see, even here the stabilization of river sides or the plants or the islands, are all highly engineered. They all worked out with different techniques, how to stabilize it, and they all have under constructions. So when there's a lot of water, and the water can really come up very high, there is no erosion. We want to keep them here. We want to have that, that place uh, look good and really to stabilize also everything. Uh, we did also the site supervision and we did the quality control, which I think is very important. And that basically brings me to this point, what is really the position of a good designer and of good design. It's not done that you just make a nice drawing or have a good concept. I think you have to really follow through the entire process to the site supervision, to the construction firms, and to double check that everything is done well. How people are touched inwardly, you know. How beautiful it is if you are in a park and you see your child looking in water, playing and discovering this beautiful life of a little dragonfly. Or to see how beautiful it is, you know, to have the flowering here, the water here, and to see this connection of life and water and to understand that. You know, this is something, a, a very, very sort of deep-rooted insight of life process. And I think that's very important.